Hello all, welcome back to Shaving with Peg Leg. Yep, another box. This is a gift for the channel, but I got a couple other packages here I'm going to open up too. I got this. This should just be a razor blade that I bought for a razor that is coming in. Yeah. Sorry, trying to. He's got. It. <laughs> he had a tape to a, a flyer for the Farm Bureau. That's funny. Okay. I bought a skull razor that did not have a blade with it. And I need a blade for a template to make blades for it out of a DE. Because they had to be cut in a specific way to fit over the razor head. So I bought a skull blade. Oh, that sucker's rusty. I wouldn't even want to use that. See how rusty that is? But you see the shape of it? This that's because the Seagal razor is you twist you twist the bottom of the handle and the head goes like that. And this has to fit down over the head onto the base plate, and then when you screw it down, the head comes back down and locks it in place. But that sucker is rusty. But it's just a template to make. Let me tell you what, it's still sharp. Rustier in hell, but it's still sharp. But anyways, it's just for a template to make more out of DE blades. So that you cut them right. So they fit over the razor head. And slide down into position. Okay, got that one. Yes, that's, that's coming. That razor is coming. Oh, uh, not sure what this one is. At least I forget what it is. Oh. It's a shit Krona. Which. Oh, that door's a little sticky. Oh. Yeah, that was a little sticky, but it's still functional. Door sticks a little. We'll polish, we'll clean this up sterilize it and everything we'll see what see what it does afterwards Got this one I know what this is it's one of three items I ordered but the only one that came in today even though all three were supposed to come in today and then I get the email a little I got it just like 10 minutes ago I got the email saying oh sorry the rest of the stuff won't be delivered till tomorrow I don't even know if it'll be delivered tomorrow. Does Prime deliver on Thanksgiving? I don't know. Don't want Amazon, they might. Excuse me, while I reach across the table. There'll be a lot of that tomorrow, won't there? Yeah, see, I got three trays. There's ten in each tray. There's 30 of them. Okay, now I gotta figure out. Hey, 
and ta-da! Ha 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 ha! No pivot, no nothing, but they do have the goo bar on top. So, guess what I'm going to shave with on Saturday? <laughs> That is pretty though. Waterford Crystal. Can't go wrong with Waterford Crystal. Okay, so I got 30 of these. If you can get four shaves out of each, that's what, 120 shaves? Should last me a while. And now this. This. I can only say thank you, Dave. I did. Dave asked me for Dave in Kentucky he asked me for my address he wanted to send me something and I said okay here's my address and then he sent me a picture of the box he was sending and I was like is that his I mean I when I saw the box I, I saw the other side but I saw like this view of it I was like is that box as deep as I think it is and I'm thinking he only sent me like stuff he had duplicates of. He's not going to send me anything. He's only got one of. And yeah, the box is as big as I thought it was. Ever ready? Chromium plated. Ooh. With a couple blades. That's nice. And it still has a blade in it. I don't think we'll be using that one, but very nice. See, the thing, I was never really into these until I started watching Dave's channel. And he has so many of these vintage razors. I was like, good God. And I'm watching him shave with them. And he's like, these are good shavers. This is a good shaver. This is a good shave. And I started thinking, okay. I don't have any single blades. I got one single edge, the uh, one blade razor with a super expensive replacement blades. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says Gem Junior. <laughs> That's nice. Stubby in them. Okay, no blade in this one. That's good. That's that's nice. But anyways, I started looking at it and I'm like, if these things are shaving so good, and I was I had to get one. I, I got my gem and I got my um auto strop. I got the auto strop because that was a pretty razor and everything. But I got I said, let me give these a try because I see these guys out here rant, raving about the $170 um vector, and I'm like why are you spending $170 on a razor if everybody's getting great shaves and everybody says they get great shaves out of one of these? So why are you spending $170 for a single edge when you can get one of these for $14, $15, $20 bucks on eBay? Doesn't make sense to me. Sorry, it doesn't. What is this? This isn't ever ready to. The case, everything beautiful. Plate holder. Beautiful razors. Absolutely beautiful. And you know what? Here's here's another thing about those. When you pick up one of these and use it. And I do this with all my vintage razors. When I pick one up and use it. Ooh. Another gem. This one. This one's got a lock system here. You push it back and then keeps it locked, push it that way and it pops open. Nice. Very nice. As I was saying, you pick up one of these razors and use it. These have 
soul. You know what I mean? There's there's feeling to this. You pick up something like this. There's nothing. I mean, it, you just there's just nothing to it. It's just there. This you use something like that. It's got a little bit of soul, a little bit of feeling to it. Auto strop. I'll have to fix with that one later. But there is no blade in it. How many did you send me, Dave? Oops. That box was open. And everything dumped out when I picked it up. It just says double-edged safety razor. Fits any type double-edged blade. Fits any type double-edged blade. There's the handle. The cap. Base plate. Nothing on it. No writing that I can see. Sweet. Just, just another oddity from what? 30s, 40s, maybe 50s? Just... Oh! Little snap case. Dave, this is way too much. I, I, I have to assume you, you have doubles on all these. There's another valet. Auto strop. With a couple of blades. And this has a blade in it. it. Has an original. That is the valet blade. That's how they marked their blades. It wasn't printed on it. It wasn't engraved. It's cut out into the blade. That's how they marked their blades. That's nice. That's a nice little case. You know, Dave, I almost bought one of these. I really... It's a cutie. It's a woman's razor for armpits. They're, I almost bought one of these. Thank you. I almost bought the pink one. But he sent me this. It's a clamshell case. And that's the little razor for shaving women's armpits. It's got a blade in it, too. <laughs> I don't know how good that blade is. I'll clean it up, though. I'll just use this for just a collector's piece. You won't see me shave with it. Because I don't think you can get the blades for these anymore for some reason. I'm doubting that you can. That's neat. I almost, I seriously almost bought one because there's a couple for sale on eBay right now and I almost bought the pink one. But Dave said he's sending me a bunch of stuff and he said don't buy any gems or auto straps or anything until I, I got the box in so I didn't buy anything like that. Ooh. Auto Safety Razy Corp, New York, USA. metal case push button in Ooh. ballet auto strop see there's another one that's how they mark their blades got a blade in it still still has a strop and a blade holder and there's something in this one actually one of their blades very nice I got some polishing and cleaning to do on all this stuff which is cool I don't mind doing that at all I do all my polishing by hand I don't use my Dremel I use Brasso to clean 
and this is a simplex military it's it's like the clicks razor it's plastic or bait white I should say and the Gillette thin blades that they probably came with unless they're replacements handle doesn't want to come out of the case. Oops. I just flung the head on the floor trying to get the handle out of the case. There it is. Okay, now I got it. It's the handle. I can't show you with the head. The head's on the floor. I had to stand up to get it. All right, thanks, Dave. That's nice. Another Bakelite razor. And that's it on the razors, and he sent me a soap that he had a duplicate of. Um, oh, crap. I'll put it in the description. Uh, he, he told me what soap it was in an email. He told me what soap it was, but there's no label on it. So I'll, I'll put it in the description. Maybe I don't have to. Can you see that? I can't read it, though. It's printed backwards. <laughs> Vander Low something shaving soap. Dave, you have one of these? I would have kept this. I would have kept a backup. All right, guys, the scent on the soap. I do not know what scent notes are. There's, like I said, there's no writing anywhere on this. If you're of my age, say you're 50 or older, and you went to a barber shop when you were 8, 10 years old, this is what it smelled like this is what they put on you after your haircut or after one of the older guys got a shave. This is what they put on you. This is the scent. That is a nice, clean, I'm all prettied up and ready to go out scent. This, that is great. That is a fantastic scent. I don't even want to use that because it'll mess up all the printing on it. See if I can squeeze it out of there and scrape some off the bottom. Yes, it'll fall out. See? <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Thank you, Dave. I, I like that. That's a great scent. I'm looking forward to using that. Probably use it Saturday. I'm looking forward to that. That is a fantastic scent. I like that a lot. That That is... I just been to the barber shop and got the works, and they finished me off and I'm now ready to hit the town. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate all these razors. This is a great gift. I appreciate the soap. That's a great scent on the soap, by the way. Um, I would have kept that, too. I would have had a backup on the one, but it is a hard puck, so it's probably going to last a long time. But I do appreciate it. It's a great scent. I appreciate these razors. I really do. I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun trying them out and seeing what all the hype is on them because everybody says they're great shavers, and I just haven't used one yet, and I appreciate it. Give me a chance to use them and experiment with them and play with them and bleed with them, probably. <laughs> Knowing me. All right. Thanks, Dave. I do. I really appreciate it. I couldn't have asked for more. I mean, I could have, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I appreciate your generosity, brother. All right, guys. Take care out there, and I'll see you back here in a little bit for the head shave.